Oh yeah, classic Elmore James slide riff. Doing my basic background with the blue, black, purple, and the garbage bag, creating the texture. And then uh, it took six stencils to create this poster. I'm doing a, the jacket right now. It looked like on the photo reference, kind of a tweed. So I just wanted to go for kind of a texture look. So that's what this is all about. Just kind of doing kind of muted colors a little bit, but i am kind of wanted to stay in that blue range. At least I did it first. And I realized, ah, I think I'll pop some color in there. So uh, all the skin tone's gonna be in blue. Hey, it's the blues. <laughs> so, and then, uh, some of my stencils have multiple colors on them to save from, you know, making too many stencils. So some highlights, things like that, or whatever they're separated. And that is a rattle bomb of metallic red, candy red. Looks pretty cool. So I use that. Just happen to have it in my stock. Then I like to do the gradients for the wood on the guitar just to kind of give it some tone and texture, get a jump start on kind of the airbrushing that I'm gonna be doing next. For the lettering, I was surprised that the insides of the letters stayed. I didn't connect them they were just free floating, but when I sprayed, they stayed in place. So I was pretty happy about that. I like kind of blocking out the lettering when it's appropriate and when I can just go over the top of it with a brush and do some highlighting. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and do my basic uh, border around that gradient black. I like to just create that kind of effect all the way around the border. Next thing I'm gonna jump into airbrush getting the consistency so that I can do some fine lines with it because I decided to go ahead and outline with that. I thought about using a brush, but uh, I thought um, I'm going to go for it. I make two posters. One's kind of my practice one, and then the second one is my final product. Sometimes that gets in reverse, but you just never know. You just do the best we can. That's an Iwata Eclipse airbrush. I got it hooked up to my compressor that I use for everything in my shop. Getting it running about probably about 60 pounds right now, which is kind of a lot, but I like pushing the paint through, especially one shot. And here I'm just sculpturing with the black, straight black, one shot, and uh, with I reduce with turpentine. Uh, it keeps the shine, and plus I love the smell of turpentine. So I'm just kind of molding and shaping, not getting too much, but just enough. So there's low lights. Uh, Yeah, so I decided to go ahead and try my hand at cutting in the, you know, even the straight lines like the slide and the guitar neck. Um, and I felt like it was going well. So I just said, no, oh, I'm just going to go for it. Outline the whole thing. So I decided to do it that way. That gives it a softer look too, which, which is kind of appropriate for spray paint posters. And here I'm just using an aluminum straight edge to get a good straight line on the guitar neck. Can't tell in the, in the video right now, but that slide and the uh, frets are a chrome spray paint. That was in the stencil section, uh, but you can't really tell. I love doing fabric because it's always fun. It's free flow and it, you can really make fabric look real. Okay, now I'm using the white. This was my favorite part. I, I couldn't wait to do this because I knew this halo would look really cool and really make the whole poster pop. And so I was really looking forward to that. And you can see how it really makes it look shiny. Gives them a nice halo around there. Gives them a highlight. Now I'm highlighting. Uh, the eyeglasses, his eyes, his skin tones, uh, the ring, all the other things. He's the king of slides, so I want to emphasize the slide. So I went ahead and did a swoop with the airbrush. Just kind of give it a little more emphasis. And continuing to just highlight here and there. Now I'm going to go ahead and go over the uh, sprayed lettering 
with my brush. It's a Kafka number four lettering quill. And then I'm going to mo move over to uh, the airbrush again and just do a gradient from bottom to the middle of, uh, of light blue. And it's all one shot that I've been using. This is reduced with some reducer. I like this because then I can just do one coat. Now here's where I'm using the light blue to do a little gradient. Just kind of give it a little pop. And I'll go back and outline it with, um, with dark blue. And that should wrap up this poster. Hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching.